Every single video, we give away products from BoostTheTrades.com. Be sure to stick around till the end to find out how to win. Welcome back to another video, guys. We finally got the computer in for the Datsun. All we had to do was plug it in, update some firmware, and reload the last tune on it, and it is right back to where it was. Uh, it's idling great, it drives awesome. Uh, it makes all the turbo noises, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, there's just a few minor things. In order to get this thing registered, which is our next step so that we can actually drive this around, um, given the title is from Rhode Island, we need to physically bring this down to the California DMV. And when you do that, that means it needs to demonstrate that it has working headlights, blinkers, et cetera, et cetera, uh, a horn. So we're gonna get started on that. In addition to that, you'll see that upon braking, the wheel shakes a little bit. Uh, it, it's, it's a little loose and stuff around turns. You'll hear the, the struts bottoming out. The rears are just completely shot. So JP is going to take care of tearing those out today and we should have the new ones in O'Reilly's tomorrow morning and we'll slap those in tomorrow. We are super happy with this and we can't wait to actually get it registered so we can drive this thing around. Just got back from lunch and probably had one too many tacos. It is Taco Tuesday, so you can't blame me. Um, we have to hook up everything that Devin mentioned in the car, like the lights and the horn and blinkers and stuff needed to pass inspection. But we've noticed that the rear wheels rub just under normal driving conditions and um, is not lowered or anything, stock suspension. So the shocks are definitely shot. Just look at how much they lower when Devin sits in the car. And then you can imagine it's worse with two people. And then if you go over any kind of bump or you, you get on the gas and it squats a little bit, these tires just rub. So we have new shocks coming tomorrow. Tonight we're gonna rip out the rear suspension and uh, do whatever needs to be done to change those out. Rear struts on these cars are surprisingly easy. Um, rear struts on most cars are easy. It just sucks doing it because you gotta jack up the car, but if you just sack up and get it done, which Devin's doing right now. The deal is that you don't mess with these. These are the notorious spindle pins and they will take you longer to get off on the car than just pulling everything. So you take these caps off, you take this, uh, this bar over there that goes across off, you remove the brake line and the, this is the e-brake, the brake line's on the other side over there. And then there's uh, three on top and this whole thing comes down. Um, if you have penetrating lube and an impact wrench, you can get this done in just a few minutes. Done! <laughs> That's a uh, independent rear suspension for you. Mmm, spider webs. We got the new shocks, and this probably isn't gonna fix the problem. We're gonna need to do springs, um, but we really didn't wanna mess with that because eventually we're doing a coilover conversion when we do the wide body and brakes and all that. But if it, if it still sucks a lot, we'll probably just get some temporary springs. Uh, they make like sport, one inch lowering, all four for like $200, so, uh, Maybe uh, like a few weeks down the road, we'll do something like that. But for right now, we're just gonna replace the shock absorbers and see if that makes it any better.
check this shit out. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Ooh, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, 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 oh. All right, everything is back together and we are out for a test drive to see how everything works. How's it handling so far? Uh, pretty good. You know, yeah. the handle is pretty good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not bottoming out no more. Front suspension definitely needs to be messed with, but it drives significantly better after replacing those shocks. It sounds really good. Uh, we're happy with it. Still leaks a little bit of oil, but we'll fix it. All in due time. Guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, dude, this bird needs to fuck right, right off. <laughs> we fixed the suspension, which has been a problem since we bought the car. Um, we obviously didn't want to go too hard into it because we do plan to do wide body big brakes and uh, coilovers in the future. So, just a quick cheap fix for that. We got our computer back, and this was more of a just testing that and make sure we left off where we started, and we certainly did. Yeah, we were super surprised at the fact that we could just plug the computer in, update the firmware, and reload it exactly to where it was, but that's super awesome. Yeah, the exhaust um, from, in the, from in the car, like this is the first time that we've actually driven it with a windshield. Uh, previously, it's had the up-facing north pipe, no hood, and no windshield, and uh, it is just so much better now from a driver's perspective. I'm sure it's still super loud for the neighborhood, but we like it that way because, uh, you know, it's a project car. Um, but anyways, that's going to wrap this one up, and that means that Devin's going to pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you're unfamiliar with our channel, we give away products from BoostedChase.com every single video. All right, this video's winner is Sean Bilo, or Bio. Okay, Sean, you can hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedChase.com or through any of our social media platforms, and we'll get back to you and ship you your prize. If you'd like to win the video giveaways, all you have to do is like the video if you actually liked it, subscribe to the channel, and answer a question that we sometimes have for you guys at the end of the video. So Devin's got this week's question. This week, we want to know what your favorite topping on a pizza is. Sometimes our questions are not car related, sometimes they're stupid as shit like this one. So just like, subscribe, and comment your favorite pizza topic, topic, topping, and you are eligible to win this video's giveaway. Uh, that's it for this one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.